Hey everybody, it's Constance with Charmy Custom Crafts, and I have day 28 of the 31 Days of Spooks today. And I came up with this idea a couple weeks ago, so I've sort of been working on it. I don't know if it's before. I came up with it around the same time I did uh, Curling Toes. Um, anyway, this is a really cute layout. It's only a one page, but I had a little fun with it, and I hope you guys like it. This is just a basic Happy Halloween layout. Um, it's not a two page, just a one. And this is what I came up with. Let me show you here. And you guys always know that I have hidden gems. So I'm going to start. So you have your three shelves here um, in the background. You got the butcher block here and the cat standing up on the butcher block. It was one of those C and Company, um, all these sparkly things are from C and Company, a little paper die cut pack. Um, it didn't have color behind its eyes, so I put a little color behind it. Um, so it's got the butcher block. This is made like a leather paper, but it's not leather. It's the way they crinkled it. Um, I thought it'd be a great butcher block, like an old Hagley butcher block. Um, the stickers here are some are Stan Company, some are Jolie's. So I laid this one poison witch's brew down, and then a witch's hat is from the die cut pack, and so is the spider, and then another. Um, that one's uh, Anguish Screams, and this one's Witches Banff, Witches Curses, and then this one has eyeballs in it, so you can see it. And it's something other. I don't know, I covered it up. And then this is, uh, I think that's like bat juice or something, I'm not quite sure. But I made it look like with hot glue that it was um, leaking. And I left all my cobwebs on because it's a Halloween layout. Normally I would get rid of them. Um, the one up here is, I'm pretty sure that's Jolie. Because I have several packs of these two. Um, and then um, this little die cut came with the pack of the sparklies that came with purples and green. Um, not green, purples and orange and blacks. Um, but I cobwebbed it more. And I colored it just a little bit. It ended up by the time I put it on, it was cut off at the top, which is fine. The background paper is from like the old movies, Graphic 45 paper. I don't know the name of it. <clears throat> don't really care, you know, unless it's something that really interests me. I don't care. I got a big pack of them. And then I printed out um, a picture of a cauldron. And I sized it big enough. And then I used these lettering. I think, pretty sure these are Jolie's. And um, because they are sticky on the back, but I always use hot glue um, because of the fact that I know for sure that they will pop off. And then here's a spider, and then you'll see a bat here, and then there's a bat here. And I left the wings up. I just glued down the middle of them. And I know you guys always ask, well, why would I do that, uh, especially when it's on a layout? And I do use sleeves, and I have people that ask me why I use sleeves when I put them in a, you know, in a, in a, in a little seal bag. Um... You know what I'm talking about, guys. But I do that because when I take them out, I can share and do more things. And then if you look in the background, it's it's for me, not for anybody else. So, I mean, they're more fun when you take it out anyway. If you look in the background, you can see that there is a witch flying in a window. I made it look more like, um, like laboratory windows than um, a regular window with a just cross door. Um, I thought about putting another bar across, but I thought, nah, that'd be more spooky. So, I took the gold paper that I used in here. This is all scrap. And then I, I double matted it. Put the sparkly witch down. She's hiding on her broom. And then she's like peeking in the window at her brew that's cooking up her little spell. And if you can see, it's like aroma coming off. And um, you've got like skulls coming out like it's, you know, the spell poison you know like you guys get what I'm talking about like the whole cartoon thing where you have like the the smells coming out the aroma and then like these skulls for poison um, so that is pretty cool and then I darken down the edges on this now I always do hidden gems so I'm gonna start with my hidden gems each one of these shelves are individually put on so that I can take out there's a pocket here but I put it over here and you'll see that there's a pocket here, pocket here, and pocket here. So you can put extra stuff down in here. Um, but I'm only going to show you one. This one has, um, what kind of paper is that? That's got the ghouls and goblins and um, witches brew paper. 
trying to think of what collection it is. If you guys really want to know, I'll tell you. Um, but you can put this anyway. I did this where you can do some journaling on that side. And I hit it the other way. There's a reason why I, I um, sprayed it a different color so it blended in. And these are for journaling. Though You can put a picture on the back. So you can do it that way. And then, as you can see, my cauldron. I actually used, and you're probably weird, but I used the large Mickey Mouse punch, paper punch. And I made it look like it was bubbling. You wouldn't have probably saw that until I pointed it out because I, I see it from the moment I did it. Of course, I'm the one creating it. So I have these three bubbles. Now, you can also put these down in a pack. And then the cauldron is split right here to where you can put more stuff down in it. But you can turn them over and put pictures. This one's just a plain bubble. So you can put them down in here in any of these slots and then you put pictures or whatnot down in here but that gives you five pieces um to put pictures on or five to plus five to journal so you get 10 potential to pictures to put in this but i always have more so i actually did something where i only glued it down on this side and if you look these are my little hidden gems. i love hidden gems i have three more in here to where you put larger pictures or journal. I did not stamp them because I want to make sure that when I do, when I have the stamps, it's not the issue, that I want to put um, stamped verses or whatever, sentiments, um, see it's all hidden, you can't even see it, to match the Halloween that I'm using it for. It might be one of my spooks that I did at the house. We're not doing Halloween this year. I wanted to, but oh well. Anyway, I think it'll be my first year not doing any kind of trick-or-treating whether we're doing it or going trick-or-treating not even a haunted house anyway there's day 28 of the 31 days of spook uh, I know for sure um, Edith has gotten two she sent me today for some openings and I think I have somebody that took another day so there's at least three out of the next 29 30th yeah I think we're pretty much good for the month but please Please, please, if you want to share um, November's theme as family memories. Now, I know a lot of you, like me, have friends that are more family than blood relatives. So, um, it can be anything. As long as it hasn't been shown on the page, it can be something that somebody has created for you and you have memories with it. That you create something with memories behind it. Layouts. Um a wreath whatever things that you know quilt it can be just about anything you know a hand painted ornament this is the perfect month to do catch up for November um, so it's one of the reasons why I did it but it's also my way of thanking those who made us and helped us be who we are today um, so instead of doing a quote Thanksgiving theme I thought it was more fun to do family and friend, our family memories um, because that's what we should be thankful for so that's the theme for November. The entire month is open, though. If nobody takes the first, I've got um, something that I'm going to enjoy sharing. I've got a couple things that I need to catch up on, and um, they're not all paper crafts, trust me. So if you guys want to see what's coming on, come on over to Charmy Custom Crafts on Facebook. There is somebody that has a jewelry page that is not me, and I've been around for, oh, jeez. About eight years with my business and I used to have charmingcustomcrafts.com um, I got to be too much creating and um, designing the page I can design the page I just get too it's too much for me anymore um, but I'm also on Twitter I'm on um, Instagram which I use that probably more and the Mac Fry market is now open uh, I have listed all my soaps for sale I've also listed the ones that have sold uh, I mailed the ones that are sold today except the ones my mother bought um, those I have some things I have to stick in a box I have to I started buying Christmas presents so I'm gonna wrap those so guys if you like this want to sell or buy McFry market m-a-c-f-r-y um, you can follow me on Facebook at charmingcustomcrafts.com you may have to look up charming crafts or charming custom but it is me um, and then on Instagram it's the same and then here on YouTube and then on Twitter but like I said I don't really use Twitter so much but catch you there, guys. Enjoy the picture, and I hope you like the layout.